maybe she can reconsider dating Adam. Adam was contemplating whether to choose Evelyn or to choose Iris. Like he's caught in the middle of these two beautiful ladies and he's a gentleman too. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Movies. My name is Lydia and I'm your host for today. Today I'm talking about Adams, Evelyn and Olive. No, I think Adam is rather in the middle of it. So Adam had feelings for Olive, Olive vice versa, but Olive wanted to concentrate on her education. Evelyn comes into the picture also starting to flirt with Adams. Now Adams is confused. Okay, I like someone. She doesn't like me. Someone likes me. Why don't I give my heart to the person who likes me? And he's all confused like adam is right now he's he's the most confused person in this in this um series now he's very very confused because deep down in his heart he wishes to date olive but then on the other hand evelyn is always coming like in between like evelyn is always you know there are some people who are always coming you don't even know where they come from they just pop up out of nowhere and evelyn is such a person so right now adams doesn't really know who to choose because the person you want doesn't want you and the person you don't want wants you and usually people go for people who want them unless you should are strong and you want to you know be the one to fight and all that and you go for people you want so i feel that now that olive has been dropped out of brown university maybe he maybe she can reconsider dating adam i didn't say that loud <laughs> yes because olive's reason for not dating adam was because she wanted or she needed to focus on her studies yes because she needed to focus on her studies and be of a good example so that baron university will accept her application like she's already on the wait list or the wish list Bar university will accept her application but then now Baron has dropped her out of the list would she consider going back to adam because if the main reason why you, you, you snub someone is because of education or it's because you wanted to pursue a particular goal now the goal has you know has been sabotaged i don't want to use the word sabotage but you know that the, the, there's be a challenge with the goal does it mean that she'll go to adams for emotional comfort like sometimes we all really deep down need emotional comfort and right now that is like right now she's not really fighting for anything academically she's naturally good we know olive is academically good but her issue is she cannot combine dating or thinking about a guy to books like she just can't combine these two it, it's like oil and water for her it's either she's oil or she's water and trying to combine this two means that she will be dropping in academics the academics that she'll be dropping in was mainly because she wanted to you know get the scholarship or get get a, admission to Brown university but now bar university has dropped her evelyn on the other hand is now doing her best like she's doing the undoable things that you wouldn't expect a lady to do for a guy she's doing it like right now she has she has this instinct or this intuition that olive has feelings for adam so and vice versa so she wants to do all her magic all her possible means to get in the way to make sure they don't come together or they don't live together but evelyn deep down i believe adam knows that evelyn is not to be trusted i believe adam is very sure that evelyn is not someone to be trusted but late but then everybody needs emotional comfort someone who you can go to when you are drained emotionally when you are drained psychologically when you are drained mentally and if olive is not willing for the hugs you know how important hugs are if olive is not willing for the hugs and evelyn is willing to give the hugs why don't i go to evelyn so i think the battle has just begun between adam olive and then evelyn because now adam would have to choose between the two someone like evelyn who is hunting him down and Olive, on the other hand, who wants to play hard to get or who doesn't really mind because she believes that getting involved in relationships makes her distracted in school and in academics, most that is the most important thing. Yeah. 
So let me know what you think about Olive's situation now. Now that she has been dropped from Bio University, it's a big disappointment to all of us. You know, I saw how Olive's mom just like she just broke down. It really, really broke her down. But I don't blame Olive so much. No matter how intelligent or no matter how you believe in someone, I keep saying that we are all humans. And there's one thing that you can never get. If it's not, it's, it happens when you when you lose respect. We are not robots. We can disappoint. Even robots sometimes disappoint. So I think that her brother's mother really called for this because I don't see why she will involve or she will let her, son, her daughter. She write her to include her daughter's name into a final upgrade without seeking her consent. And I feel that if she was observant now, she would have noticed that Olive was being unstable in the house. Like. Yeah, you know, that's how close you, you get to people for people to read what you are really going through without they telling you. So now there's a lot on Olive's plates now. There's a lot on Olive's plates now. Right now, she doesn't have time to be doing Iris's game on hunting down Gloria and all those childish games. Right now that Olive has been taken out of Brown University, I think the problem or the trauma is going to be worse. There needs to be a miracle that will lift Olive's spirit high because her motive for learning is now pointless. It's now pointless. And this is very, very painful. It happens to all of us. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes we think that we are going and then we just drop. And when we drop, it's so hard to get back on. Like it's so really, really hard to rise back up. I'm wishing all the best to Olive. It's going to be a very tough time for her. Very extremely tough for her because right now, the person like her mom who she used to cry to and then ask for you know advice and all that she's also going into a new relationship and you know the excitement and all that she wouldn't really have the time and even aside that you wouldn't really get the advice that as a teenager you need even though your mom has passed away there's some advice that your parents cannot give honestly it's your peers that become the best examples in giving those advice and Esther, on the other hand, someone who live also cries to, is also having actually who they talk 24-7. So, Olive is now a lonely person, like extremely lonely now. Looking on the left and on the right, it's like she has no one. I don't know if she'll confide in Maria. Maria is a very reliable person. She's trustworthy. I don't know if Olive will confide in Maria so that she can express what she's really going through to Maria. Let me know what you think about Olive, Evelyn, and then Adam. How their relationship is going to be like. Right now that Evelyn is faking it, how long is she going to fake it? Or she will eventually come to tell the truth or what really is going on. I'm India for today. If you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe for more videos and more updates. Till next time, bye!